we're looking and, and, and you know, take note of this. Don't be going and just looking at the government saying how long. Get your heart right with God. If it hasn't been right in the past, you know, this is a great opportunity. I think this is a great opportunity for America, for the world, to get right with God. Amen. You've got a lot of people having a lot of time to reflect. A lot of people are going to be struggling and going through hard times. A lot of people are going to have some fear and not knowing. And my prayer is that people will wake up and go seek God, repent, get right with God, and, and just and focus on Him and saying, well, what can I do, Lord? Help me out. And, you know, it's oftentimes God will use these types of events to get people's hearts humbled. Don't be so proud to go, I'm not going to turn to God. I don't need God. You know, look, that attitude is just going to make it worse and worse and worse. It's going to pile it on. Let's try to end this quickly and just turn to the Lord and trust in him and realize and admit and confess your faults. Confess where you've done wrong and, and seek God and, and ask God how long. How long does this need to be, God? And ask God to protect you during the difficult times. Notice here in verses 1 and 2, it says, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Because sometimes it may feel like, like God just forgotten about you. Say, I'm down here praying, I'm going through all this stuff. God, don't you see me? Have you just forgotten about me? It's, it's a feeling. Obviously, we know God doesn't just forget about us. But this is, this is a place that you can get to. You, you feel like God's forgotten about you. He's like, are you just going to forget about me forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? Because let's face it, God's timing on things isn't always lining up with our timing on things. Sometimes we pray and we expect things to happen immediately and God just to swoop in, you know, before the word even comes out of your mouth, the prayer is answered. Now, that may be the case sometimes, but it's not always the case. And we understand that because one of the things that we do when we pray is we understand that we ought to be praying according to God's will. And we don't always understand God's will, not at least early on. It's easy to look back in hindsight, right, and be able to see, oh, now it makes a lot more sense why I went through what I went through or why it lasted as long as it did and why certain events happened in my life even though I was doing right and, and, you know, didn't have major sins, I wasn't being chastised for my own sins, but now I can see why these things happened and took place and it all makes sense. And we need to remember that and have the patience that there is an end and it will make sense later if it doesn't make sense right now. And you don't have to feel like God has just forgotten about you. When you have your heart right with the Lord, when you're seeking Him, when you're seeking God, you know, God hasn't forgotten about you. God does hear your prayers. If he doesn't answer them the way that you expect him to in the man in the time frame that you want him to, it doesn't mean he's not hearing you. Okay, it doesn't mean that at all. He has a plan. 